Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, your boy, and we're starting WWE 2K18 Universe Mode. Yeah, that's right, baby. We getting started right now. So we're running SmackDown, and I decided instead of giving you guys like a long-winded explanation on a lot of the cool stuff that we're going to be doing this year, there will be like a uh, facts and questions thing in the description below that kind of explains everything. So all you have to do is go to the description, and you can read how we're doing Universe Mode this year. There's a lot of new stuff, a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of stuff that you're probably going to be wanting answers to. So please just check the description and uh, let's jump into universe mode and if you're excited remember to show your support with that thumbs up let's do this Hey everyone, welcome to SmackDown. This is the first ever episode and we have quite the card lined up for you this evening. We have James Fatal set to face off against Rusev. We have a triple threat match featuring the women's champion Charlotte facing off against Asuka and Ruby Riot. And we have the world's champion Triple H set off to face AJ Styles in the main event. What a crazy show this is set up to be, and it looks like we'll be having our world's champion starting the show right now. You thought you were going to get a WWE show without me starting off with a promo? <laughs> well, think again. The world's champion speaks when the world champion speaks, and you, you listen. I see a lot of young guys in the back, well even some older guys honestly, who feel like this show is going to be their launch pad to superstardom, that this is their land of opportunity, and maybe it is, or maybe it's where you learn how good you actually are and not how good you think you are. If anyone in the back thinks that they're just going to come in here, face the game, win the world title, become a legend, you've lost your damn mind. I will be holding this world's championship around my waist and this show on my back for a very, very long time. Strong words by our world's champion, Triple H. And speaking of the younger generation, here comes James Fatal to the ring right now to start off this show versus Rusev. Two young guns looking to make their name in this business, brother. And how will this go for both of these men? Let's get this underway. We both ran at each other. James Fatal and Rusev just gonna run straight at each other. These are two young guns going for the top spot. They want that spot Triple H was just talking about right there. But Triple H ain't gonna let that go too easily. Rusev, oh my goodness, my man Rusev gonna get off here early, taking the turnbuckle off the damn turnbuckle post. This man's already trying to cheat. We ain't even five seconds into the match, and this man's already ready to go. Well, hold on now. James Fatal ain't gonna let that happen too easily. Let's throw him in it. Oh, I was gonna try to use the turnbuckle against him, but Rusev gonna send me into the corner. Oh man, now he's just gonna, what is this, what is he, AJ Lee? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I didn't expect that little piece there at the end. But for people wondering, James Fatal is also the same overall that he is in the uh, My Career mode. <laughs> this man is yelling. He's 74 overall with the same statistics. I decided to do that instead of put him at like 90 overall or 80 or whatever. I decided to put him at the exact same that he is in my, in my career. So he's got the same statistics and everything. So my boy's got an uphill battle here. He might be the world's champion in my career, but things are a little different here in universe mode. There we go. Reverse Rusev. Send him into that turnbuckle post that he exposed. James Fatal taking advantage of a sticky situation. <laughs> But this is the first match here on SmackDown, the inaugural SmackDown match. Off the ropes, Rusev goes. Ducking underneath, James Fatal off the rope. Boom! Oh, turning Rusev inside out. Ah! Oh. <laughs> James Fatal's got a little screaming ton of his own. He don't make any vocals, but he's got it. You can imagine that spinning back fist just flooring Rusev right now. Back and forth, but James Fatal is definitely in control of the matchup right now. They both have one hell of a beard. Look at these two bearded men. 
Going for what looks like a body slam. Rusev going to get out on that. Not going to let that happen anytime soon. But James Fatal looking, ooh, looking for something there. But Rusev with a major reversal. Now Fatal stuck in a no reversing situation. Rusev just going to toss him over. Look, it's like a teddy bear. This man, Rusev, is strong. Let's see how much damage he can get in before Fatal can start reversing again. Rusev is out of reversal stock, so this is looking pretty good for the young boy. There we go. Fatal fighting back from the floor. No, Rusev with another reversal. Okay. Oh, nope. Fatal into the corner. Oh, big clothesline. That turnbuckle post over there is still exposed, and I think Fatal is looking to throw Rusev into it one more good time. There we go. Catching Rusev before he can even hit the ground. That's a good little combination for James Fatal. So he gets Rusev up and goes for the strikes again. The strikes is just too much for Rusev. Spinning back fist off the rope here. Disaster kick. Now Rusev is on the run here. Some combination punches. Little jawbreaker action, and Rusev is on the floor. A position I don't think he expected to be in at this point in the matchup. The kicks, the knees taking out the back a little bit. Signature now for James Fatal. Wait a minute. Into the turnbuckle. Oh my goodness! Off the turnbuckle post into the fatality knee! Rusev just getting obliterated right now. Oh my goodness, that jawbreaker again from James Fatal. The crowd is lit after that fatality knee. That thing was crispy. But Rusev not done yet. Got a little reversal action of his own. Going to try to get out of this match right now with the pinfall. That's a no-go for James Fatal. He's going to kick out at a solid one ski. Oh, shoot headbutt from Rusev. The strikes again, going for that knee, but no Rusev. Oh, it looks like he hurt himself there on the punch. He's throwing haymakers then, huh? Uh-oh, we're going to the top rope. Rusev has got James Fatal on the top rope. Oh my goodness, no, where is this going? This man's looking for that German suplex. German release, German suplex off the top rope. Rusev is getting ready for that accolade, it looks like. Chopped to the forehead. Just doing some brutal moves here, trying to get my man weakened. Uh-oh. What's he doing here? Slowing the match down a little bit because he knows if James Fatal gets a little speedy, things are going to be good for Rusev. Uh-oh. Going for a pinfall after that release. German, a smart move, but still not enough to even get a two count on James Fatal. This man is just too savage. Fatal getting up uh, by Rusev. Rusev going for something, but getting reversed into a fatality. Just straight up flooring Rusev there. Goodness gracious. The punch to the midsection. The punch to the head. Another midsection punch. But Rusev looking to slow things down once again, especially after that. Here we go. Going for the traps. That's near the spot the accolades locked in on. Two finishers on deck for Fatal. Signature for Rusev. Can Fatal reverse this signature? No, no, no. Alabama slam. <laughs> I guess it'd be more of a Bulgaria slam. Oh, having to use resiliency to kick out there. Rusev almost stealing a victory with the Bulgarian slam. <laughs> What is he doing now? This man's wilding out. This man is wilding out. He just slammed his head up against the... T Thank goodness it wasn't against the other one or Rusev would be done. Going for the accolade. James Fatal reverses into a fatality knee. And I think that it's about that time. Rusev standing up. Closure. And that just floors Rusev. But wait a minute. James Fatal not... D James Fatal. With the accolade locked Fadal. into Say position. It, Say it. Is he going to make... Yes! James Fatal making Rusev quit. 
Well, next up here on SmackDown, we got the young boy Kane here with the mask. Good Kane <laughs> coming out for his matchup tonight against uh, an interesting opponent, uh, the Brian Kendrick. <laughs> interesting matchup, but Brian Kendrick wanted this match with Kane. He wanted to prove something. And uh, we'll see if he can tonight. You gotta wonder what Brian Kendrick was thinking coming into this matchup. A big boot just floored him. Kane, he's looking for that choke slam to hell right away, and he hits it flush on Brian Kendrick. Let's get one more look at that as Brian Kendrick is laid out like a mattress. He is laid out like a mattress, the big red machine. Wait! Brian Kendrick with the kick out. Showing signs of life. And Kane looks frustrated. This man thought it was going to be the end. But Kendrick. Kane looking for that choke slam to hell one more time to put Kendrick away. Down for the count. Brian Kendrick showed signs of life, but Kane, the big red machine, is a monster. How do you stop this man, Kane? He's got the mask on, he's got the sweet attire, he's got the choke slam to hell. This is gonna be a problem for many a people over here on SmackDown. Brian Kendrick with the kick out, though, you have to have some respect for my man here as he kicks right on out of the first one. But Kane, just too much. And Kane is not through with Brian Kendrick. He is not through with Brian Kendrick. Kane showing everyone in that locker room that he is a menace. <laughs> in a very weird turn of events we have Lars Sullivan making his way to the ring and you're wondering maybe who this man is facing tonight and well it is Brian Kendrick this man insisted he insisted on having another match tonight and well the only person that we could find backstage in that short amount of time was this man, Lars Sullivan. Look at this man's just size. The sheer nipples on this man, Lars Sullivan. Oh my goodness, Brian Kendrick. You're gonna definitely need some help tonight. I'm not sure if this man has lost his mind, but Lars Sullivan, good lord. Again from Lars Sullivan, just the beat down. Goodness gracious. Lars looking for something, but Kendrick gonna fight back. You gotta be impressed by Kendrick who is able to get a captain's hook, but the rope break again. These men just too close to the ropes. They're just too big for Brian Kendrick. Another, wait a minute, center of the ring, Captain's Hook. He's got it locked in on Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan, is he gonna tap? He's looking for something, but Lars. Oh, and Lars fighting out. Kendrick showing signs of life against Lars Sullivan again there. The Captain's Hook able to hit, but Lars is just a beast. This man is just a beast. Look at the way he is able to just pick up Brian Kendrick. Good God, look at that replay. Brian Kendrick, he has got to be hurting, especially after that match with Kane. What is this? Lars from the, fl oh my God, again. Again from Lars Sullivan as he goes for the pin on Brian Kendrick. And that is all she wrote for Brian Kendrick. He almost had something for maybe a second. But Lars just shutting him down. Look at the fight here from Brian Kendrick. I don't know what's going through this man's head who said, yeah, you know what? 
Kane, Lars Sullivan? This sounds like a fantastic evening for me. But Lars Sullivan just putting this man down with the swiftness. We saw that captain's hook, but it just wasn't enough. <laughs> Look at this beast. Between Kane and Lars, we got two hell of a big men on this show. And now we have some women's action going down here on SmackDown. We have a triple threat with the women's champion Charlotte coming to the ring right now. And we have a triple threat tonight between her, Asuka, and Ruby Riot. And you gotta think, if Asuka or Ruby Riot can pin Charlotte, that we'd be looking at a new number one contender here tonight. Yet honestly, if anyone can come out of this match other than Charlotte, we might be looking at a new number one contender. But I mean, Charlotte's a champion for a reason. And we'll see if she can pick up the W here tonight. Asuka just going straight for Ruby Wright here. Charlotte going straight for a chair. Charlotte does not care. She will win by any means necessary. Goodness gracious, I did not expect her to get a chair. I did not expect Asuka to rush Ruby Wright like that. These women are getting in here, man. Oh, but Charlotte drops the chair. Maybe she had a change of heart right there. Oh, Charlotte going to go for Asuka, it looks like. Oh, wait, maybe she changed her mind again. Charlotte, sort of a question mark in this match so far. Not exactly sure what to expect from her as she's just kind of gone off the rails doing whatever she feels like she needs to do. And now she's after Ruby Riot. Ruby reversing. And going after Asuka, but just misses a kick, which now leaves her sandwiched between the two women. <laughs> that is just some bad luck on her part as Charlotte sends her to the floor. And now it is Charlotte and Asuka in the center of that ring, brother. Well, kind of in the bottom lower left of the ring, but you kind of get what I'm saying here. You know what I'm saying? Ruby Riot now just circling the ring, trying to figure out a, her spacing in this match. Probably a good idea for her to kind of see what happens between Charlotte and Asuka right now before she makes her way back into this ring. I mean, we have three of the hottest acts in women wrestling right here. And now Ruby Riot, one of them, is getting back into the ring. Asuka trying to use her butt cheeks! But Charlotte was ready. She was primed for the cheeks. Uh-oh, Charlotte. Oh my goodness, Charlotte is just a hoss right now compared to these two women. I mean, look at this. Stretching Ruby Riot over her knee. Like a little baby Goo Goo Gaga. Little baby. That's kind of nuts. Charlotte looked for some sort of drag maybe, but oh my goodness, the rake of the eyes. That's an old Ric Flair move right there. Asuka taunting the corner and Ruby Riot doesn't like that as a knee <laughs> sends Asuka to the floor. Oh, Ruby trying to get something with Charlotte going, but that's not going to work as Charlotte, look at this. Just stretching. What is going on with the ropes there? Just stretching. And Asuka taunting. Ruby going to have to roll out of the ring. DDT from Asuka. A DDT there from Asuka. As she gets Charlotte off the floor here. Oh, an uppercut here. Back and forth between the two women. Look at this as Charlotte just picks her up into a backpack stunner. Oh, she's going to go for a pinfall on Asuka early here. But Asuka's not even going to entertain that. She's not even going to entertain it. Look at that kick out. That swift kick out. Ruby now back on the apron as Charlotte is just manhandling everyone in this matchup right now. Oh, and uh, Ruby Riot able to hit Charlotte as she makes her way back into the ring. And Charlotte with a flip. What in the world? I guess there's a reason that Charlotte is the women's champion. Charlotte now with both women down. Moonsault from Charlotte onto Ruby Riot. Oh, and Asuka just breaking that up as that kind of, that could have been the, the end of the match up there. And Charlotte picking up the W. What a beautiful moonsault. Asuka now, uh oh. Asuka from the second rope. Going for something, but Ruby Riot, this is probably the best bet for Ruby as Charlotte has just been manhandling with her size. That Ruby Riot get into the mix right now. Goodness gracious. Asuka looking for something here. A suplex maybe, but Ruby Riot able to get behind Asuka. 
Ooh, that was slow, but Ruby able to hit it going for Charlotte with a clothesline. Ruby is into it now, baby. Asuka getting up by way of Ruby Riot. A drop kick here. Charlotte on the floor. Ruby Riot maybe trying to get a little payback from that moonsault earlier. Going for a splash, but Charlotte just able to move out of the way. Before Ruby Riot, look at the speed off the floor. The agility is impressive. Uh-oh. Ruby going for Asuka now. Now she's left with no reversal stocks as Asuka with a German suplex just, just straight up folding her. Uh-oh. Asuka's looking to get Charlotte in that corner. That referee's got a nice looking fade, man. That's looking good there, homie. Asuka on the top rope. What is she doing here? A superplex? Asuka? Superplex Charlotte in the center of the ring, which leaves Asuka with that signature. Oh, is she going to go for the pin on Charlotte? Asuka looking for the pin on the women's champion? Uh-oh. Now both women got a signature. Ruby Riot getting back in the ring with a finisher of her own here. Oh, no. Charlotte able to fight out. Even at that size, you got to wonder how she's able to pull moves like that off. Asuka. Uh-oh. Asuka's looking for the butt. And she hits the butt. Wait a minute, Asuka. What is this? A big suplex on Ruby Riot. And she goes for the pin on Riot. But Riot kicks right out with a fighting spirit kick out. Did not go for Charlotte as Ruby Riot got in the way. But that could have been it for the women's champion. Asuka could have picked up a W and possibly be number one contender. Going for another pinfall on Ruby Riot as Ruby kicks out just again at one. Asuka's very determined. She is very, very determined here. Uh-oh. Charlotte back to her feet. Charlotte's not playing no games. Charlotte's had it, bro. Oh, she's going to go for a pin on Ruby Riot. All the pins are going to Ruby Riot, but once again, she's able to kick out. Oh, the rake to the eyes. She's playing that dirty, dirty game. Wait a minute. Ruby Riot reverses. This is looking quite good for Ruby Riot. Charlotte to her feet. Wrap up into Gary. There we go. Look at that kick to the head right there. Sending the women's champ to the floor. And if she can get a quick pinfall before Asuka gets back into the ring. Asuka trying to make it back into the ring. One, two, and Asuka just makes it to the person. What the? How did Asuka get out with such velocity? Oh, Asuka locked on Ruby Riot out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. She's got it locked in. Ruby Riot trying to make her way out of this. This is not looking good. And Asuka makes Ruby Riot tap to the Asuka lock. Picking up the W in the triple threat. And Charlotte was laid out by Ruby Riot. What a match. Look at the moonsault, the superplex. These women left it all in the ring here on the inaugural episode of SmackDown Universe Mode. What a matchup. What? Hey, look at the butt cheeks right there. Charlotte doing flips all over the place. Everybody going for the pin on Ruby Riot. Asuka just making it into the ring to break up the pin here. There you saw the kick to the head. Charlotte was laid out like a mattress, but Asuka makes her way back into the ring and picks up the W. And now for the main event of the evening, we have the world's champion, the King of Kings, the nickname of nicknames, the Cerebral Assassin, the world's champion, Triple H, facing off against no other than AJ Styles. AJ Styles looking to open a door for the younger wrestlers as Triple H is looking to keep it shut. <laughs> Who will come out on top tonight? This is quite the test for both men as Triple H is not going to tie up. You might have thought for a second that he was going to tie up, but that's a no-go for the Cerebral Assassin. He's going to take any shortcut he can to keep that World's Championship, keep people out of his main event. Triple H is looking to run SmackDown with an iron fist. 
You talk about your students of the game, Triple H is the damn game. So AJ Styles, the complete opposite. I mean, when you look at these two men, they are the complete opposite. AJ trying to open the door for as many people as possible. And the crowd is going wild for the game. As AJ's trying to get some offense started here. Oh, another knee to the noggin as AJ Styles is laid out like a mattress again. Good Lord. The strength here. I mean, just look at the difference in body sizes. AJ is a very lean, cut-up man, while Triple H is just, he's just shredded to the bone. Look at this beast. I mean, both these guys are in great physical condition, but if you look at the size, I mean, Triple H's lat spread is bigger than AJ Styles' entire body. It's quite insane, honestly. And this beatdown right now is courtesy of Triple H. You just had to know this was coming. A spine buster there on AJ Styles. While AJ might be one of the best, Triple H is the world's champion for a reason. Off the ropes here. Oh, and AJ goes straight to the floor. Triple H, she's just playing with him at this point. He knows he has this match all wind up right here. As he throws AJ off the ropes, grabs him. No, but AJ able to get out of it. But Triple H, again, look at this. The calculated punch. I mean, he's just got AJ right where he wants him. This is bad for AJ Styles. The best he can hope for right now if the match continues to go this way is to just get out with no injuries because Triple H is wild. Enzigiri from AJ Styles. Maybe this is something. Okay, maybe AJ can start a mountain to come back here. AJ throwing Triple H off the rope skis. Uh-oh, okay. Little neck breaker. Crowd's coming alive for AJ Styles as he's starting to hit some moves here on Triple H. I would say maybe AJ Styles should try to slow it down, but I don't even know if that's the best way to go for AJ Styles. I mean, honestly, he should probably try to keep it as fast-paced as humanly possible so Triple H can't catch up. AJ telling Triple H to stand up. He's on the second rope here. AJ, good lord! Okay, little baby arm right there. Hitting Triple H in the head with it, and he's telling Triple H to just bring it. Okay, where did this AJ Styles come from? Triple H can't seem to get anything reversed here. Wait a minute. Bloody Sunday by AJ Styles floors Triple H. What is this off the ropes? Dropping the big knee. Triple H, it ain't looking. It was looking good for Triple H in the beginning, but AJ Styles fighting back here. What is this? AJ with the carry to the center of the ring. AJ. Uh-oh, he's going to go for a pin on Triple H here. A one count, no, no, no. The world's champion is just gonna let that one count be there as he kicks out. AJ with a finisher on deck, Triple H with a finisher on deck. AJ maybe going for that Styles Clash. Whoa, Triple H! Where did that come from? The crowd not happy to see that. They were looking forward to AJ Styles doing his thing here, but again, AJ, the agility. What is this on the... Shoulders. Oh, just tossing Triple H down. Look at the strength, honestly. Look at the strength of AJ Styles just to even perform that move. Oh, and he's throwing up the two sweet to Triple H. He's throwing up the two sweet. Part of the NWO stable. Now part of the Bullet Club as AJ Styles is calling for the phenomenal forearm on Triple H. To the back of the head! Oh my god, the back of the head! Phenomenal forearm! Goodness gracious! But Triple H no sells it! <laughs> Triple H no, he tells him to suck it! Triple H is wilding out right now! He's wild! AJ Styles off the ropes! Throws him up in the air! Picks him back up! Oh my goodness, pedigree! He's got the arms! Pedigree to AJ Styles! He said, too sweet this! Good God almighty! He's got the pin! And AJ able to just kick out of the world's champion's pedigree! Holy moly, what a little sequence there! as AJ looks to fight back again. But Triple H is able to stop it. The punches from Triple H, he's just slugging on AJ Styles right now. He is just slugging on this man. Boom, spine buster. The crowd behind Triple H, listen to this right now. 
as he sends AJ into the ropes. Under. Under. Oh, he goes for the clothesline, but AJ sends him flying over to the floor. AJ may be looking to get some stamina back as Triple H is laid out on the floor here on the outside. Oh, AJ, was he? Oh, yeah, I thought maybe he was going to go for a flip. No. Triple H looking to run away. Get back into the ring before AJ Styles. The punches. The kicks. The kicks. The kicks. Uh-oh. He's looking for that suplex on that top rope there. There we go. Ooh. Bouncing AJ back into the ring ski. Goodness gracious. AJ. He's bleeding. He's not looking good as Triple H sends him out. Once again, just playing with them. Good God, the game. He is just playing with them. Oh, no. This is not good for AJ Styles. The pedigree. <laughs> and that could be it for AJ Styles. Hooking the leg. One, two, three. Three as Triple H just puts down AJ Styles, making a statement that these younger guys better watch their back because Triple H ain't opening no doors for nobody. Look at this pedigree here. Triple H, another one. This is just insane. Another, look at this. Just pedigrees on pedigrees on pedigrees. Oh, as he drops the suck it to... Wait a minute! Is that Carl Anderson? Carl Anderson! Part of the Bullet Club! He has Triple H in the corner! He came out to help AJ Styles! Is he part of this new movement? Is Carl Anderson part of this new movement? With AJ Styles! He has got Triple H on the floor. Carl Anderson is calling for Triple H to get up. And Anderson, Gunstein on Triple H, the world's champion. AJ Styles and Carl Anderson reuniting. Dropping the two. Sweet. And that was the first episode of SmackDown here on Universe Mode on WWE. 2k18 so guys what did you think of the first episode who do you think should be moved up the power rankings list after everything that went down this episode who do you think should move on the way up i'm trying to hear it people tell me down in the comments below i want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode i hope you enjoyed it remember if you did to leave a thumbs up subscribe because you're not subscribed for more of that goody goody and i will see you guys next time see ya